person who aims to enhance his power reaches Fardo draw talents close. To establish authority and manage business, one must distinguish truth from falsehood. To reach high, lower yourself. To take, give. Encourage others to speak using images as analogies, thus revealing their feelings while you listen and learn. Reiterate your method to cement it in memory and devise magical strategies. Compare words with images to find consistency in dialogue and discover underlying principles. Indulge those you wish to remove. Indulgence is the opportune bait, for it is when people are most at ease that they are likeliest to reveal themselves. A person of neutral appearance is trusted with secrets. Employ those you can know. Refrain from relying on those you cannot. In all affairs, it's vital to control others rather than be controlled. The master controls, while the subordinate is guided by another's hand. The more elevated the individual, the more controlled their emotions must be. It's not simply about silence, but about speaking strategically. From the pattern of joy and anger, the astute observer discerns true intentions. Decisions on principles and methods are then carefully crafted and conveyed. A superior person observes in silence, seeking a response to test the waters. Where true feelings rest, decisions are honed with precision. An exemplary leader is a master of speech and silence. They use their clarity of vision to listen attentively and to communicate with purpose. Like cranes seeking kin with distinctive calls, people of similar mind find harmony and agreement. A subtle language between the lines governs their discourse. In shared rationales lies a shared language. It is a soundless pact between those who climb the same ladder and safeguard the same secrets. To learn more, one must encourage others to discuss themselves. Step by step, the person is led into revealing more than intended, while the listener gains insight. Listening becomes a strategic game. Understanding the undercurrents of dialogue grants power to one who masters this art. In the differentiation of narratives, one finds details often overlooked. Gender plays a role in the orchestration of words and the dance of dialogue. The whooping of cranes illustrates the resonance of kindred spirits. In understanding these echoes, one finds the key to persuasive dialogue. An argument's true course is like a river running deep. It is by listening to its undeceitful progress that one infers the layers beneath the surface. A well-concluded argument remains steadfast and doesn't waver. Consistency secures its fortress and wards off contradictory assaults. Offering an indulgence is like casting a subtle net. It is within the ease of indulgence that the true colors are unwittingly revealed. A neutral guise is the perfect cloak for trust. Secrets offered to a perceived indifferent party lay open like a book for those versed in the game of tongues. Embrace and guide the discourse, maneuvering it subtly to one's favored conclusion. Persuasion becomes a delicate craft of leading rather than dictating. Project sincerity to ensure the other party's guard is lowered. It's through this crafted authenticity that one gains trust and compels disclosure. Power whispers in a language of self-control and scarce utterances. Its dialects are actions and omissions, its grammar, the timing of speech. Even in silence, there lies a profound truth. Silence is often the loudest speech, echoing the measure of its wielder's foresight and restraint. Like scales, weigh your words, for each has a price and consequence. The prudent mind pays with caution, investing in the currency of calculated dialogue. Listen for the echoes of the mind. They resonate between spoken words. It's those echoes that signal alignment or dissonance, truth or deceit. In the realm where less is more, the unspoken bond fortifies trust. It's through shared understandings that alliances are silently forged. The finish line in strategic communication is never crossed with haste. Each word is a step taken, each pause a breath of strategy. Leaving a legacy of character, those who master their tongue shape history. In the annals of time, their select words form the narrative of leadership. As the quill pauses, so does our tale of wordly mastery. In skilled silence and eloquent utterance, the highest levels of influence are found.